Thursday worship, the third Thursday after Pentecost. 6.30.22, 3.30 p.m. Lebanon, Connecticut. And good afternoon, Relenyik here. I hope you had, hope you're having a great day. It is another beautiful one. And today we are kind of doing a rebroadcast of yesterday's service since there was a lot of errors in it that needed to be corrected. So we are taking it, so we are doing that this afternoon while we had a little bit of time. Also, we were supposed to go see that movie Lightyear with Eduardo today. So we will be seeing that with him tomorrow as we begin a weekend with him. So as usual, welcome. The service will begin soon. Join us. And the prelude today is nothing left to say. Thank you, choir. That was very pretty. And it is true. The beauty of, of our world, there is nothing left to say in how our creator made it. So good afternoon once again, everybody. And welcome to this afternoon service or a rebroadcast of yesterday's. Yesterday's had a lot of errors in it. And I was listening to it after it was uploaded and the sound was off. So we are just correcting it here this afternoon. So here are your announcements for today. The third of four train trips in a row continues on to Boston and Fenway this weekend from 7-2 to 7-4. I mean, we will be there from Saturday to Monday. This is part of the transition of saying goodbye to Eduardo. But we're not saying goodbye forever. 
We take this show to a place yet to be determined a little later in July. As we learned, it may not be El Paso. So we are going to, when we get that information, we will look at flights to wherever he is going. Uh, two months in with the Elantra, we've had zero accidents. And mom got herself a new car thanks to a horrific incident that occurred with her juke on once on back on the 15th. Tomorrow would have been Wilbur's 12th birthday and the search for a new little guy continues. So, you know, I know the people in this house don't want another dog. Well, I think it is important because we need that companionship having somebody that is always there so we are still looking for a new boston and you know if you guys know any resources you know in this state or in this region uh please let me know Is there anything else that needs to be discussed before we get going here I will see what I can do about posting another walkthrough of an assignment. Again, probably not going to be able to because I looked at Cengage yesterday and everything was locked up. So, unfortunately, probably not going to be able to do that. But I can link, but I can send information. In the description, I can send over an instructor that has those assignments posted. Because obviously there are a lot of you out there that do take that class. No, the Elantra is not being driven to Boston. It will be driven from here to Haddam. Well, first it will be Lebanon to Franklin. And then back here to Haddam to Old Sabre, where it will be parked for two days. We are doing this safely. Especially over a holiday weekend. We have to be so careful out there. So if there are no other announcements receive receive the call to worship. Great is our God and greatly to be praised. The whole earth reflects God's power and might. When we recall the wonders of God's creation, we rejoice in the awesome complexity of it all. Lord, you have brought us up from fear to hope. Let us worship and praise God for all God's faithfulness. Amen. And will you please rise and sing with me, number 324, when I survey the wonders cross. When I survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died, my richest gain I count the loss and poor contempt. On all my pride, forbidden Lord, that I should boast, save in the death of Christ my God, all the big things that charm me most. I sacrifice them to his blood. See from his head, his hands, his feet, sorrow and love flow mingled down. Did there such love? 
and sorrow me, or thorns compose so rich a crown. Were the whole realm of nature mine, that were an offering far too small, what so amazing, so divine, demands my soul, my life, my all. Let's pray. Lord, this afternoon we come before you in the time of transition and excitement. We think of the journey it took from a horrific accident to losing someone and a beloved pet to get a new car and a new relationship. The first part of that journey was like being on the cross. So today, by your spirit and your word, remind us again how great you are as we worship you this day. In Jesus' name, amen. And our second hymn is Great is the Lord. Great is the Lord, he is holy and just, by his power we trust in his love. Great is the Lord, he is faithful and true, by his mercy he proves he is love. Great is the Lord and worthy of glory, great is the Lord and worthy of praise. Great is the Lord, now lift up your voice, now lift up your voice. Great is the Lord, great is the Lord. Great is the Lord, he is holy and just, by his power we trust in his love. Great is the Lord, he is faithful and true, by his mercy he proves he is love. Great are you, Lord, and worthy of glory. Great are you, Lord, and worthy of praise. Great are you, Lord, I lift up my voice, I lift up my voice. Great Great are you, Lord, and worthy of glory. Great are you, Lord, and worthy of praise. Great are you, Lord, I lift up my voice, I lift up my voice. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Okay. And the anthem today is one that the people of London Baptist call Adnes's Deli. So Adnes D. <laughs>
you choir that was very pretty and another one of my favorite anthems so like I said yesterday you'll hear a lot of these anthems over the summer but we're gonna mix it up a little bit as well like next week it will be a new prayer song so we come to the place of prayer and it's another one of his gifts it's a time where we can bear our lives and the lives of those around us we want to think about what this weekend will bring. And we also want to know how, want to think about the, how crucial this weekend is in the relationship. We also want to think about what having a summer job might be like. We want to think about what having a new Boston will be like. As always, we continue to think of the horrors in the world. More recently, the train derailment in Missouri. We want to pray for those people that lost their loved ones far too soon. And so many people injured. And as always, I will give you opportunity to lift up those that you know. And the first song today is 2108, Oh How He Loves You and Me. this afternoon we come before you in a time of transition and also a time of excitement there's so much positivity that is going on in my life having a, a relationship that is meaningful where we feel like we belong where nobody judges us based on what we have and what we don't have and water was a gift from you. He is a gem. He's precious to me. And we look forward to the new adventure that might be on the way. Wherever the next place is, we will be allowed there to visit him in his new place. To show that the love and compassion that we have for each other and bringing Lebanon to that new place we know this weekend means a lot especially to keep the relationship going in whatever way we can in this time of transition there's a lot still to look forward to this summer and so much that we can be optimistic about We know it won't be easy saying goodbye to love, but we know that that goodbye isn't like the one that came before. We know you will guide us and you will hear, hear our prayers and you will listen and respond. As much as Wilbur was precious to me, Eduardo is just just as precious. 
and all other Bostons out there, Boston Terriers are like people. They love us. They love us unconditionally. We think of Willow, Milo, Lenny, and all other Bostons out there, even ones we don't even know yet. This breed is special. And we know that when the time comes, another one will be right here. But through all this goodness, sadness is never far behind. We think of that train derailment on Monday night. People just trying to get home. That's a scary situation. And we pray for those families that lost their loved ones far too soon. We think of the Alvis family. We think of the Barnaby family. Knowing, knowing, hoping that he's okay. And hoping that maybe one day we might get an answer to what occurred back on 10 one and the false accusations. The empty threats should all dissipate. Not saying to get back together with him. We just, we just want to hear where everything was coming from. Just to listen. We have to be strong enough as human beings to actually hear what the other person has to say, even if it's something that we don't want to hear. And we thank you for Metro North, Amtrak, Shoreline East, and all of those resources that helped me out in a time, in, in the darkest time of my life. That is why the opening hymn today was when I survey. Because it was like being on that cross for almost a year. And then things got better over time. It was like your resurrection. New life came at just the right time. We thank you that mom was sick. Mom is safe. And okay, after her horrific accident, it's too bad that the person took off. Well, unfortunately, that's just the way the world is. People are so stuck up in their lives that they don't really care the harm that was done to another human being. And we know to be safe. We know to play safe, drive safe, so that way fun can be had. And I think it's fun doing these services every week. And for the people at home watching this, pause and give you the chance to lift up those that you know. And so it's to this end. We thank you for Michelle. We thank you for Cheryl. And everybody else that has helped out along the way in this journey. And so as we, so as we continue on in this service, remind us again and again how great you are. As it is in that prayer that you taught us saying together, our Father who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen.
you how he loves you and me. Excuse me. Oh, how he loves you and me. He gave his life. What more could he give? Oh, how he loves you. Oh, how he loves me. Oh, how he loves you and me. Jesus to Calvary did go. His love for sinners to show. What he did there brought hope from despair. Oh, how he loves you. Oh, how he loves me. Oh, how he loves you and me. And so, when negativity comes positivity, and the positivity that it gives us. There's so much positivity going on with a new car, a meaningful relationship, and one that looks like it's going to keep on moving, quite in the, literally move in. So at this point, I invite you to please subscribe to this channel, and also be sure to continue to check out those trade videos and the walkthrough assignments as well, in case you are taking a summer course with, the, with that material. So the offertory today is the place where lost things go, and I'll explain why I chose this offertory in the message coming up shortly. And so with the ushers, please come forward and re as we receive the afternoon's gifts and offering. Where the lost things go,
where the lost lands go. Ooh. Very pretty, and it is a reminder. Please rise. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end amen amen Lord, it's true that when we are gone we are never forgotten and when our loved ones leave us we know that they will always come back so take these gifts and multiply them and make yourself known throughout the world as we continue to see what else 2022, the summer of 2022, has in store for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Please be seated. Okay. So the reading today is, this is actually a two-part message. So the Rita today comes from Psalm 77, and it basically sums up what the theme of this service is. So Psalm 77. I yell out to my God. I yell with all my might. I yell at the top of my lungs. He listens. I found myself in trouble and went looking for my Lord. My life was an open wound that wouldn't heal. When friends said, everything will turn out all right, I didn't believe a word they said. Oh God, your way is holy. Excuse me. Once again, I'll go over what God has done. Lay out on the table the ancient wonders. I'll ponder all the things you've accomplished. And give a long, loving look at your acts. Oh God, your way is holy. No God is great like God. You're the God who makes things happen. You showed everyone what you can do. You pulled your people out of the worst kind of trouble, rescued the children of Jacob and Joseph. Ocean saw you in action. God saw you and trembled with fear. Deep ocean was scared to death. Clouds bleach bucket, excuse me, clouds belch buckets of rain. Sky exploded with thunder. Your arrows flashing this way and that. From whirlwind came your thundering voice. Lightning exposed the world. Earth re reeled in rocket. You strode right through ocean. Walked through straight boring ocean. But nobody saw you come or go. Hidden in the hands of Moses and Aaron. You led your people like a flock of sheep. And now the Galatians chapter 5. The life of freedom. Christ has set us free to live a free life. So take your stand. Never again let anyone put the harness of slavery on you. It is absolutely clear that God has called you to a free life. Just make sure that you don't use this freedom as an excuse to do whatever you want to do and destroy your freedom. Rather, use your freedom to serve one another in love. 
That's how freedom grows. For everything we know about God's word is summed up in a single sentence. Love others as you love yourself. That's an act of true freedom. If you bite and ravage each other, watch out. In no time at all, you will be annihilating each other. And where will your precious freedom be then? My counsel is like this. Live freely, animated, and motivated by God's spirit. Then you won't feed the compulsions of selfishness, for there is a root of sinful self-interest in us that is at odds and a free spirit. Just as the free spirit is, incap is incompatible with selfishness, there are two ways of life are contrary to these two ways of life are contrary to each other, so that you cannot live at times one way and at times another way, according to how you feel on any given day. What you don't choose to be, why don't you choose to be led by the Spirit and so escape the erratic compulsion a lot of a lot dominated existence? And we will read part two of that next week. And may God add a blessing to read these holy words. So in this first part, we're going to take a look at how exactly we got here. Like, how did we end up with a new car? How did we end up with a new relationship? Well, running short on time. So, basically, you go, I went from that horrible accident on May 23rd, 2021, by just simply coming home. So, as we walked through the summer of last year, it wasn't your typical summer. I felt very closed up, very depressed. And that will happen, too, when you are not able to do the things that you want to do. Like... For example, I had to rely on other people. I had to, I had to like, you know, there were some weeks where I did not leave the house until Friday when I went to West Haven. And that's sad. That really is sad and, heart, and it was heartbreaking. I wouldn't say heartbreaking. But it was more like, I felt very, very tied up, as it says in the first part, you know, the life of sl slavery and, and being harnessed. Well, in this case, it was being harnessed t to this house. I mean, Charlie would come over and, and it would, and I tried to keep it as normal as possible. But losing him on 10-1, that's what made it even worse. I did not get out of bed for two days. Because I was so depressed and very angry with him and myself. I cried. I cried for two days straight. And it was that uncontrollable crying. And we didn't know what to do. We didn't know what to do. I was taking classes I would make two of the appointments, but I never went to them because I wasn't emotionally, I didn't think I could handle it. And what happened? I lost the right to use tutoring that semester over a personal matter. It's not like I, it's not like I wasn't avoiding it, but it was like I did not, I did not feel ready to turn my attention to what was happening at the time. And then on top of all of this, little did I know Wilbur wasn't feeling well. The 
health issues that he was facing. And you can watch his memorial service to, for full details of that. So you figure, but thankfully, we were able to spend Thanksgiving and Christmas with him. Okay, very good. New Year's and Valentine's Day. Okay, great. I get an email from Charlie, and it wasn't a nice email at all. It was like, I thought you loved me. Why did you cheat on me? It's like, I was like this. I was like, are you kidding me? Why would I do that? I wouldn't do that. And it's like, where is the common sense? And where is the common courtesy there? Sure. This is how, this is exactly what we were trying to avoid. We are trying to avoid having this happen a second time. So finally, things got, so finally, things got better. I started that job at QB. Unfortunately, we had to put Wilbur down. We knew that that was going to happen eventually. We were just hoping that it wouldn't happen. That's what happens when you're in denial. But that job really opened the door to what was going to happen next. So in late March, I was like, okay. I was like, okay, we're close to a new car. Let's see if we can find a friend. You know, let's see if we can develop a new relationship. And what do you know? That's how Eduardo came into the picture. And and he was with me for the rest of the rest of the semester. We received a scholarship because of him. And that job was allowed to continue because of his support, the love and compassion, and the understanding of the fact of what we have and what we don't have. So finally, things started to get better. And things got really good on May 14th. I, f I got what I was waiting for, a new Elantra. Now, granted, it's a couple of years older than what I had, but it's better than nothing. I stayed focused. I did it strategically. You see, this is what this is about. There are two ways of thinking in the selfishness of the world or to love one another as he has loved us. This is exactly what we are doing here. We are showing Eduardo to love one another as he has loved us. You know, we haven't been back to old behavior because we are staying focused on the task at hand. And the task at hand is getting ready so that when he is gone, we know what to expect wherever the next place is. So we can take Lebanon with us and we can take it to the next place. Because we feel needed. We feel we feel loved. And we are and I am so glad that I could put in my two cents with this transition, as you guys saw, I believe in the in the uh, I think it was plan for when a warrior leaves. If you guys did not see that one, I will put that in the recommended videos. 
But do you guys see how life goes? You can overcome a year of challenges if you just stay focused. And if you do things strategically, and if you keep things close, when you start with, you know, that's what works. Keeping things close. To feel loved. And to feel accepted. It's not all about materialistic things. It's not always about, you know, jumping in bed with somebody, which is what we will talk about next week. If we can achieve those goals, then there's no stopping us. Because the next goal is to get a new boss day. That is the last thing of what 2021 left behind. We are we can do it here in 2022. There's no stopping us. If we stay focused and if we do the right thing, then the sky's the limit. Being optimistic. Stay in focus and keeping a positive attitude is how we overcame a year of challenges. And achieving these goals to make us feel good about ourselves and how we present ourselves to the world. When we leave the safety of this house, how we present ourselves and how people perceive us. I'm not saying I'm perfect, but what I'm saying is live the life that we were promised, one of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Amen. Let's pray. Lord, your table is a symbol for so many. And so as we approach it, may we, may it be a symbol to us of the days to come. Amen. All right, communion hymn twenty two sixty nine. We gather here in Jesus' name. His love is birthed in our hearts like living flame. For through the love and Son, the Father makes us one. Come take the bread, come drink the cup, come share the Lord. No one is a stranger here. Everyone belongs. Find in our forgiveness here. We in turn forgive all wrong. He joins us here. He breaks the bread. The Lord who pours the cup is risen from the dead. The one we love the most is now our gracious host. Come take the bread, come drink the cup, come share the Lord. We are now a family of which the Lord is head. The city meets us here 
in the breaking of the bread. We'll gather soon where angels say we'll see the glory of our Lord and coming King. Now we anticipate the feast for which we wait. Come take the bread, come drink the cup, come share the Lord. And we have some special music today, courtesy of Chris Tommy. Unfailing love. Okay. So on the night he was betrayed, Jesus took the bread, he broke it, and he gave it to them saying, this is my body broken for you, eat it in my memory. And in the same manner he took the cup, and after blessing it he said, in this cup is the new covenant of my blood, which is poured out for you. So as often as we eat the bread and drink from the cup, the body of Christ broken, we remind him that he is the living Christ, who is alive even now in 2022, who is always with us day in and day out. Amen. And we are going to end our service here. So our closing hymn will be moved to next week. So receive the benediction. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May he help you walk through life and whatever it throws at us. In Jesus' name, amen. And thank you for watching.